I've come to Jersey, to L'Office de Gerrier, to study the literature of Jersey from the early 20th, 20th century. And what's really interesting in terms of Gerrier literature is the way that, despite the fact people often think that patois stories um, in non-standard languages are just simple country tales, in Jersey in particular, and in Gerrier, there's a lot of very complex interplay between the authors and it's a literary web. If you look at just one author from one decade or even down to the space of a year looking at individual events, the Gerrier gives you a completely different perspective on these to the descriptions that you might find in English or French in the papers. And so having access to these in Gerrier is invaluable as a historical resource and also as an entertainment resource because some of them have worn surprisingly well given that they're over a hundred years old. And so you have that going right through from the 19th century right through the 20th century as an alternate viewpoint on island life showing you how things are changing, how different people are reacting and the way that the different authors will pick up each other's themes, each other's characters, the way that different papers will leave messages to each other effectively in the Gerrier is incredibly interesting and so the angle that this literature provides is really fascinating.